Hey, this is Matt Blackburn and you're watching Divine Superconductor TV. Today I'm doing a video on magnesium. Magnesium is a very important mineral because it is one of the five most important minerals we need in our body. So they're called electrolyte salts and there's five of them. There's sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and chloride. And they all have vital functions in our body. So those are the five main minerals we need in our body. And of course there are 85 total plus minerals. A lot of them are trace minerals that we need in very small amounts. But the minerals that we need the most are those five. Calcium contracts the muscle, magnesium relaxes. Sodium and potassium facilitate the sodium potassium pump. It's how water gets into the cell and the cell gets hydrated. And chloride actually regulates our blood volume, the pH, the blood pressure, and the balance of fluids in and outside of the cell. And of course they all have a multitude of functions. I just named the main ones for each of those minerals. In the mid-1850s in Germany there was a famine and if you look into the history of it, this guy Justus von Liebig, he created the first chemicalized fertilizer. So we switched from organic fertilizer into synthetic NPK, which is nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. Later they added calcium hydroxide to alkalize the soil. And this chemicalized fertilizer is highly acidic, kills the microbes in the soil, mutates the microbes, poisons the plants, and the plants can't function correctly. So plants should have acids and microbes in the soil. There should be soil-based organisms and there should be fulvic, humic, and ulmic acid. Like acids, what they do is they actually allow the plant to break down inorganic minerals and uptake them in ionic form so that when we consume them, we can actually use them. But the problem is, every time it rains, that sulfuric and nitric acid and that acid wipes out the microbes in the soil and flushes the fulvic and the humic. And of course, if, if you're buying from a major, even if it's organic, they're still using this fertilizer. Even if it's organic NPK fertilizer, the only difference is the N, the nitrogen. So it's still acidic, still kills the microbes in the soil and poisons the plants. So long story short, a lot of people say, oh, there's no magnesium in the soil because we've been depleting the topsoil with unconscious farming methods. That's true, but the story even goes deeper than that. There's other stuff in the soil that's furthering the magnesium deficiency. So calcium and potassium are magnesium antagonists. What does that mean? That means that they compete. So our diet right now, NPK, nitrogen phosphate potassium and calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide and potassium in the soil magnesium antagonists it's not like we're not just getting we're not getting magnesium no we're not we're ingesting things that are competing even if you're on a i mean it's actually even worse if you're on like a fruitarian vegan diet you're getting depleted even faster than the standard american most likely because you're mainlining produce instead of switching it up with animal foods. That's the, that's the main way we're getting, it's getting wiped out. Also, there's stress. Every time our body releases cortisol, and we have that stress reaction, it uses up magnesium. And the third way is every time we detoxify the body, which everyone's doing daily because we live in a really, really beyond imaginable, really toxic world. 99% plus of Americans are deficient in magnesium and it's really hard to test for because if you do a blood test your body has to keep a certain level of magnesium in the blood otherwise you'll have a heart attack so where the magnesium is found the most I mean 60 percent in the bones intracellularly inside of the cell is where the magnesium should be because it's in the mitochondria that's where the magic happens that's where that's the place where magnesium shines so magnesium 
over 3,700 proteins in the body have a receptor site for magnesium. 350 to 800 enzymes, even more, I've heard 2,000, require magnesium. And what are enzymes? They're sparks of life. They allow reactions to happen. What is an enzyme? A lot of people throw that word around in the health community. An enzyme is a protein, a vitamin, and a mineral. That's an enzyme. So it's those three things together. For those enzymes to work, to have all their cylinders running, they need magnesium. To build high integrity muscle, you need magnesium. If you're dealing with insomnia, headaches, chronic fatigue, body aches, memory fog, depression, anxiety, on and on and on. But if you're having any of those things before you start looking around at all this other stuff, it's better to take care of this deficiency that you most likely have. The main magic of magnesium is with energy production. Within every cell, there's mitochondria, which is the power plant of the cell. And it's making the energy that fuels our entire body, but it's not only energy, it's electromagnetic energy. So each one of these mitochondria are like a little micro star, electromagnetic battery in our body, and they emit a field. And if we can get all of these little power plants fully charged, making powerful fields, then that's when we experience vital health and just bliss because the it's the electromagnetic fields that harmonize and balance our entire body. And the coherency of those fields, it's related to our thoughts, our beliefs, and our emotions. So to get the physical down and then also work on our emotions, our heart, our beliefs about reality, we actually encode into the field of our mitochondria. That's true health. There's eight steps in the Krebs cycle. Six of them require magnesium to work to make adenosine triphosphate ATP. That's the energy molecule of the cell. Some people call it available to play, to blink our eye, to think a thought, to move. It requires ATP. Most people's production of that is hampered because they don't have this crucial mineral in their body, specifically in the mitochondria. So there's different ways to take magnesium. My two preferred forms are chloride and bicarbonate. A lot of people like Epsom salt baths, that's magnesium sulfate. The most widely used one, like in your multivitamin, is going to be magnesium oxide. That's only 4% absorbable, so that's not good. This bicarbonate is 50% absorbable, and other ones go even higher than that, but there's benefits to each one, so that's what I'm going to talk about here. The Epsom salt bath is more for detoxification. The magnesium flakes, such as the ones here from Omica, are more for nutrification, for building your magnesium stores. And that's what I'm into, is we want to build our bank account of magnesium. And actually, once we're there, you'll know when you're deficient, because you'll feel the difference, you'll feel the contrast. But there's a magnesium burn rate and we're burning through magnesium at a certain rate. So to build your magnesium stores and then to keep up with the burn rate through intuitive supplementation, experimental supplementation. So the other form I use is, so well these are actually the same forms. This one is just, you can spray it on you. So I spray it on my arms all throughout the day and you rub it in really good and this is amazing stuff. If you put this on and then go out in the sun, I can't even describe the feeling. This is my product, which I just released, and this is magnesium bicarbonate. And magnesium bicarbonate is really special because bicarbonate is an ion. So that means it's ionic, so we can't see it. Very, very small particle size. So this stuff is special magnesium bicarbonate 
because it has a bicarbonate ion that's bound to the magnesium mineral. How this works is that they work synergistically together. So the magnesium and the bicarbonate kind of like a leapfrog each other. So what happens is the magnesium pulls the bicarbonate with it into the cell. Once in the cell, the bicarbonate like drives the magnesium into the mitochondria. And that's where the magic happens with the Krebs cycle and glycolysis, electron chain transport, and all these systems is that the magnesium, once in the mitochondria, that's where it does the most. And that's where the deep healing happens and regeneration at the mitochondrial level. That's why cold showers are amazing. That's why sunlight is amazing. That's why grounding is amazing. It's because this all, this improves our mitochondrial health tremendously. Go ahead and mix it with magnesium while you're doing those practices, while you're doing cold exposure in water, jumping in the ocean, taking a cold shower or a bath, while you're getting your bare feet in the sand or at a lake, just in the dirt and the grass, while you're getting ultraviolet light, full naked, everywhere in your body, as much as possible. Magnesium works alchemically with these free practices. This is how you increase your capacity to hold charge. So we all know the experience of charging our phone. We've had it for years and the longer we have it, the faster the battery gets drained. Our body is similar, but it doesn't have to be that way where we can increase the function of our mammalian battery with magnesium, with sunlight, with grounding, with cold exposure, etc. But magnesium is the missing link that is so important. So like I said, over 3,700 proteins have receptor sites for magnesium. Three to 800 enzymes require magnesium to function. These are mainly nervous system, so electrical function in your body, brain, heart. There's also magnesium glycinate. There's all these different forms. I like bicarbonate the most because the bicarbonate ion drives it into the mitochondria and most people are deficient in bicarbonate. That's the primary reason why we age is because we lose bicarbonate. And why do we lose bicarbonate? Because bicarbonate works with our pancreas to buffer the pH of our tissues. Why would we need to help our pancreas out? Why would we become bicarbonate deficient? Well, acids, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, acetic acid, phosphoric acid, hydrochlorous acid, hypochlorous acid, hydrofluorosilicic acid, haloacetic acid, bromidic acid. There's about eight acids in tap water. We were raised on these acids. I don't know about you, but I drank a lot of soda growing up soda in a can. What is it? It's tap water cut with GMO high fructose corn syrup. There's fluoride in the water. Not sodium fluoride, there's calcium fluoride. The phosphoric acid in the soda leaches the aluminum out of the can. Now you have GMOs, fluoride, aluminum, and these acids that are going to eat the bones. And this is leapfrog in not a good way because the aluminum and the fluoride help each other cross the blood-brain barrier into the brain. Once fluoride's in the brain, it makes you nuts. You literally just lose your mind. That's why you get caught in these mental loops, go round and round and round and round. Magnesium is the antidote to that because magnesium prevents heavy metals from entering the cell. This does a lot of stuff. I mean, you could read online the benefits of magnesium. It's really, it's like almost a miracle. But this is good because it protects our cells from aluminum, lead, cadmium, mercury, etc., from actually entering into the cell. It blocks them if our magnesium stores are full. So I highly recommend megadosing magnesium, experimenting with that. I've been doing it for about a month and a half or two months. For five years prior, I was just spraying this on my arms after I showered once a day in the morning. At this point, 
I'm spraying this on every chance I get. I say I would average about 10 times a day. I spray this on both of my arms and rub it in really good. And because you'll feel the heat and you'll feel maybe a tingling and it's really going in there. Magnesium, remember, it relaxes. So it relaxes the pores and the chloride carries the magnesium in. This is the same stuff that's in the ocean. It's just filtered. They just soak it up from the brine, from the deep seabed, like 300 million years old, filter it, and put it in these bottles. This is a 31% solution. And this is magnesium bicarbonate that I make. If you're interested in purchasing this, I'm selling it for $10 a bottle. And just email me at divinesuperconductor at gmail.com and let me know what state you're in and I will return with the total. Or you can connect with me on Facebook and message me there. Magnesium, the miracle mineral. Thanks for watching and stay supercharged.